What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be using a meta team with an off meta combo. We got the Armor Rouge and Indeedee combo, but this time Armor Rouge and Indeedee is going to be paired up with Iron Bundle Snow Team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I'm going to give a huge shout out to Superbeard. Superbeard, thank you so much for dropping this team in my Twitter DMs. If you guys have teams for me, make sure you throw them over to me over at my Twitter. Link is down in the description below. Love getting fan made teams. It's absolutely awesome, and I love using them on the rank ladder. But we got Obama Snow right here for our first Pokemon with Snow Warning and Lake Clay. Obama Snow is going to be good because it could set up Aurora Veil. And second of all, it is going to be great at Weather Control. It's got Blizzard, Aurora Veil, like we already mentioned, Protect, and Energy Ball. Second Pokemon is going to be Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle is already good on its own, but with this team combo right here, Iron Bundle is going to be able to pair up with that Arm Rouge. And the reason it can do that is because it has Flip Turn. Flip Turn allows us to actually hit Arm Rouge rocking its weakness policy and weak armor ability and then swapping out and getting indeedy in at the same time so that combo seems really really strong i'm super excited to use it iron bottle has a cork drive and the salt vest as item then its other three moves are going to be hydro pump freeze dry and blizzard which hits 100 percent of the time in the snow armor is going to be that third pokemon armor is so broken in series two probably one of the strongest pokemon when paired up with indeedy this one has weak armor and the weakness policy as item like we already mentioned, and then moveset is pretty normal with Armor Cannon, Expanding Force, Protect, and Trick Room. Fourth Pokemon is going to be War Moon, and I've been using War Moon a bit more towards the end of Series 2 right now, and I've been loving him. He's got Protosynthesis and the Booster Energy, Acrobatics, Throat Chop, Tailwind, and Protect. Probably the best moveset for any War Moon. Indeed, he is going to be our fifth Pokemon. Great support Pokemon to pair up with Armors and with anybody on this team. And a Psychic Surge, the Psychic Seeds as item, then it's Rocket Helping Hand, Dazzling Gleam, Follow Me, and Trick Room. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Iron Hands, but not just any Iron Hands, it is going to be Swords Dance Iron Hands. This one has no fake out, just straight to business. It's got Detect, Drain Punch, Wild Charge, and Swords Dance with the Quirk Drive and the Safety Goggles as item. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Let the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Iron Bundle and Armor Rouge team. First match coming at you guys, we're going up against an Arm Rouge and Indeedee team. They also have Sylveon, Annihilate, Murkrow, who is great at support and great at speed control. And last but not least, they are rocking out with King Gambit. I'm going to try to pull off the combo first and foremost. We're going to go into Arm Rouge and Iron Bundle, bring Indeedee in the back end. I wonder if they're going to lead in. I wonder. I do wonder. But we're definitely going to bring in Indeedee just in case they do not do it. And then last but not least, I'm kind of leaning towards Pokemon like Warm Moon. Right, Warm Moon's solid, but the only Pokemon that I'm going to have to worry about with Warm Moon is going to be the Sylveon and the King Gambit. King Gambit could be a little bit scary, but I think we should be fine here. I definitely think we should be fine. So I'm going to bring in Warm Moon, and we're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. Or should I bring in Iron Hands? No, I really like Warm Moon because I might save my Terra for it, so I'm all about it. Plus, we have uh, Arm Rouge to kind of deal with the King Gambit. I'm with this. I'm with it. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one, but hopefully I can just get straight at straight to business flip turning out and just getting after the battle that way because for the most part iron bundle outspeeds most pokemon so flip turn can come in here first we can pocket weak armor we can pocket weakness policy all that good stuff can get popping but he's gonna end up going into murkrow alongside with sylveon murkrow and sylveon so from here i could just I, do i just do the flip turn and then just expand in force and try to get rid of sylveon i think that might be my best bet murkrow might pop a tailwind i mean if it does it does it's not that big of a deal but he might haze me next turn. That would be the only problem. But still, if I can get rid of Sylveon, that'd be big time for me. That'd definitely be big time for me. So he ends up withdrawing the Merker. Oh, this is even better. Who are you going into? Who are you going into? He's going to hard swap. He's going to throw out Annihilate. Let's get that. I mean, maybe he thinks I'm going for an Ice move. He's definitely not expecting this combo. But flip turn coming out here. Proc and weak armor. Giving us the speed boost and then weakness policy popping. Our opponent's definitely like, he's shaking his boots. He's like, oh my lord, what did I get myself into? And that's even better that I swapped into an island because now I can absolutely rip into this thing as well. Now I bring out the Indeedee and now we get off some crazy damage. So my speed's up from the weak armor, so we're going to be able to outspeed. And my attack stat is up from the weakness policy. Plus, we just brought out the Psychic Surge, doubling the expanded force move. Plus, it's stab. 
We going crazy. We going crazy. This combo is ridiculous. Expanded Force now flies out here. Gonna do some big time damage and just rips into Annihilate and leaves Sylveon, who is a really bulky Pokemon on the low yellow side. That's beautiful. Hyper Voice flies through here. We're able to soak pretty well. And we have speed now. I mean, are you going to bring back out Murkrow? Murkrow could definitely come out here. Seeing as Throat Spray. And I feel like from here, if Murkrow does come out here, I think I'm just going to protect the Armouche and take out the Sylveon with the Indeedee. Or I could pop a Trick Room. We can do that as well. So Murkrow does come back out here. And yeah, I'm thinking of just pop a Trick Room, right? Do I pop a Trick Room? I could just Gleam. I'm thinking just Gleaming and Protecting. Let's see, let's see what our opponent does here. He might just haze me. He might just haze me down. He might just haze me down. Sylveon goes for to protect. Are you going for Tailwind or Haze? I can go for a Trick Room next turn if I want to. Go for a Foul Play. So you're just leaving my stats be. So instead of Tailwind and doing all that, we still outspeed, I'm pretty sure. That's and Gleam going to come out here. Chip up some nice damage on the Murkrow. And we're sitting in a great spot. A lovely spot. A lovely spot. So that happens there. Again, we're plus two on speed. As long as you don't Tailwind. I'm, do I follow me the shot? The pop a trick room. I think we just gleam. I think we just gleam and then we just expand and force the Sylveon down. I think it's our best bet. Again, if you don't pop Tailwind, we're outspeeding you. If you do not pop Tailwind, we outspeed you. And I was super surprised to not see a Tailwind last turn, but I feel like since the Sylveon protected, that's why I went to go into it. And out comes a Haze. So Haze comes out this turn. That's totally fine. Sylveon might outspeed now. It's going to be kind of close, but Gleam's going to fly now. Chip up some nice damage. Another Gleam will take out the Sylveon. And we actually outspeed the Sylveon, which is great. So Expanded Force is going to come out here and just get rid of the Sylveon. We are sitting in the driver's seat. The driver's seat. Gorgeous. Lovely. That's fine that he wasted turn with Haze. We got off, got off some big time damage. Took out Annihilate and Sylveon. This match is on wraps. This match is on wraps. King Gambit's going to be the final Pokemon. We have Warren Moon. We still have Iron Bundle in the back end. We outspeed right now. So you know what? I'm just going to drop a nice little armor cannon. If I can. Actually, why wouldn't I just do this? Instead of going for Gleam? We should just follow me a shot. Should just follow me, because again, King Gambit's like our only problem. Just follow me, drop an armor cannon. I wouldn't be surprised to see that our opponent actually cancel battle. But he's gonna actually terrasalize. Totally forgot he still had terrasalize. We still have terrasalize as well. Dude, that combo is ridiculous because it throws off your opponent so much. They do not expect that. They do not expect that. Not one bit. So he's gonna actually terrasalize into flying. So Flying comes out here. And we go with the follow me. They end up tailwind for speed control. And I wonder what they're going for. Kowtow Cleave. Yeah, it's going to take out Ndidi. That's totally fine. You can take out my Ndidi all day. You can take out my Ndidi. That thing does show its life orb. And now Armor Cannon pops through here. We're going to do as much damage as we possibly can. But we know Armor Rouge is dying very soon. Armor's defense is dropped. And from here, what do I do? I'm going to you. You have the best. You do have the best. I could also go into you. A little bit of Protosynthesis. A little bit of Proto. Hmm. Who do I really want to go into here? You're, you're solid. You are a solid little booger right here. I do like you, Birdman. But I also like you. You have Vest, but Vest ain't nothing crazy. I'm going to go into, uh, I'm going to go into my boy Moon. I think Moon's my play. Love the little Moon. I could Thrasilize and just start getting after him. Which I think is going to be my play, right? Thrasilize into flying myself. Start ripping into our opponent. I think that's our best bet. I mean, I could say, actually, this typing. The Acrobatics will kill him. This typing is actually pretty solid. I can I can get down with this typing. I'm going to Acrobatics into that slot. And I'm going to Armor Cannon into this slot. I probably should double down into the, uh, the King Gambit slot. But that's exactly why I didn't. Just in case a little Protect comes out here. But I think he just foul plays into my, uh, I think he just foul plays into my armor rouge slot, right? Takes him out. Pretty simple. What's still worth driving here. Foul play comes through, and I was going to say, we have a chance of soaking that, and we do. We soak it right on the nose. He's going to weak armor pop us. Our speed's going to go up, and we're just going to get rid of Murkrow here. The Murkrow should be going to this armor can. Get it on out of here, correct? Yeah, awesome, and yeah, now it's just wraps. Now it is just wraps, because A, an armor cannon takes out that King Gambit, and B, an Acrobatics takes it out, and then on top of that, King Gambit has no double hitting moves. It's game, set, match. It's game, set, match. Yo, that combo was wicked. I really did like that. 
I really did like that. It's still basically like the Ndidi armors combo, but it's a setup that's so like out of there and like people haven't seen it before. That it just throws off your opponents and it's an easy setup. Second battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Torkoal and Lilligan team. That means Obama Snow is an absolute must for us to bring. They also have Fluttermane, King Gambit, Dragonite, and then last but not least, they are rocking out with the Great Tusk. So I do want to try to get Ndidi Armors out here, but not really, because they have so many different ways to kind of counter it, right? They got the Gambit. Gambit's an absolute beast up against them. They have Dragonite with probably Ice Spinner. Great Tusk learns Ice Spinner as well. It just seems like a problem, right? And then if they go into Torkoal and Lilligan, could also be a problem because we're gonna have a tough time killing them. So I feel like we have to bring Obama Snow in the back end just for weather control. I could lead the bundle. The bundle's not a bad lead. The bundle is not a bad lead all around. So I think bundle is going to be our best bet. So I'm gonna lead the iron bundle. I'm also going to lead maybe iron hands because if they think we're gonna fake out, we could potentially set up sword stance and just get rolling from there. Right? That would not be bad. That would not be bad. I could also go in DD, maybe just try to pop a trick room. But the thing is, I don't know if I want to pull out the trick room. If Torkoal is coming out here, because Torkoal is just a problem. He's he's just a problem. But I'm going to go Iron Hands here. I'm going to go Iron Hands, Obama Snow, and I'm just going to not bring in DD Armouge. I just feel like they have way too many counters to it. We're not even going to deal with it. We're not going to deal with it. So, hopefully they'll expect that and make a make a weird lead and allow us to set up Sword Stance. Maybe get off some damage with our Iron Bundle. And then we can kind of just go from there. But I don't know if they're even going to bring the Torkoal and Lilligan combo. Knowing that we have Snow, knowing that we can just take Weather Control. But if they do, you know, again, we can just take weather control, and that's exactly why I brought Arm or not Arm uh, Obama Snow. But yeah, everybody knows that it's just a problem. I always like having like a uh, a weather Pokemon on my team, whether it be Pelipper, Torkoal, or Obama Snow, because again, if you allow your your opponent to get weather control, they have a huge advantage against you. But he ends up just leading the King Gambit alongside with Dragonite, thinking that we're going for Indeedy Armors, and I kind of like where we're sitting here. I mean, Sword Dance is definitely an option here. And I'm thinking of doing that. I think I'm just popping a sword stance and maybe maybe Dragonite protects, right? I could go for a Blizzard Lane. I'm gonna go for a Blizzard Lane. Just because I think this thing is multi-scale. It might even thrash it. I don't know. Which I'm gonna go for a Hydra Pump, maybe. It could be inner focus as well. Someone's protecting here, right? With iron hands on the field. I'm gonna go for the sword stance setup here. Gambit, actually, Gambit might be the one to terrestrialize or even just protect. I'm gonna go for Sword Dance here. Let's see, somebody protect. We need somebody to protect or swap here. Dragonite ends up protecting. That's fine. That is fine. What, Gambit, can you also protect? You do not. So I should have ripped the Hydra Pump into the Gambit slot. Should have done that. So we thought I was going for the, uh. We thought I was going for the protect. I'm actually setting up a lovely little Sword Dance. And we'll get after it that way. But I think he does KO my bundle here, right? Bundle, you're dead. No, you actually eat that. Sucker Punch is looking a little scary. Uh, I'm going to go for another Freeze Try, and I'm just going to Drain Punch you. I wish I did have Protect. Should I Hard Swap in the Moon? No, I'm not going to Hard Swap in the Moon. Real question is, do we think we can eat up? I don't think we can eat up a Sucker Punch. I wish I had Protect. I really do. But I'm just going to go for a Drain Punch. I'm going to look to get rid of Gambit, even though I think Gambit might even thrash last year. I kind of wish I would have went into a Wild Charge, because most of them been have, uh, as of recently, had Flying Terror. So, we'll see what Gambit wants to do here. He's just going to withdraw the Gambit. That's actually really fine by me. So, we, we're going to be able to get off a Freeze Dry, unless I think kill, kills us with an E-Speed. And we're going to be able to get off a nice little Drain Punch into the Great Tusk, which should be able to do a nice chunk of damage. E-Speed comes out here, and you're dead to that. That's fine. That is fine. Bundle went out. Bundle got no value here, but still, it allowed my... Uh, Allow my boy to actually set up this uh, sword stance, which is huge. Now I can thrashlize him and kind of get after it. And from here, I could go Obama Snow. Do we think they have Torkoal? I don't even know if they have Torkoal here. But yeah, Obama Snow is going to be our play. Obama Snow is going to be our play. I'm going to try to set up an Aurora Bell if I can. Aurora Bell could be nasty. Could be so good for us. Yeah, I definitely want to go for the Aurora Bell. And then on top of this, I do want to Thrasilize you in a fire. Oh, fire's not good. I thought you would be grass, and I saw the fire. Ooh, that's not good. That is not good. Fire is not good. That's no bueno. That's no good. I guess it's just to dodge fairy moves, but I might just detect this first turn then. 
I'm just gonna detect this first turn. I think I Thrasslize too. Oh my god, I think I Thrasslize. This could be ugly. I think I Thrasslize in a fire on accident. When I did not want to. If it ends up going into straight flying, that's fine. I can deal with that. As long as I get off this Aurora Veil, that could be big time for us. Okay, I didn't Thrasslize. Cool. I thought I did. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So no Thrasslize, we cancel it. Headlong Rush does come into us. We're going to set up this Aurora Veil just so we can uh, have a shot at eating this, right? I probably should have Energy Balled that, but Terror Blast is going to fly here. And that's going to do some big time damage to us. But we live on 12. And now Aurora Veil is out and about. So now we have Aurora Veil out here. That's going to help us so tremendously. And I don't even know who I go for the KO. I mean, Blizzard obviously will play. Try to go for a Blizzard and who do I KO? The Tusk would be more of a problem, right? I say go after Tusk. I don't want to tear in the fire, uh, fire, right? It's just terrible. It's just there's no point in doing that. So I'm just gonna go in here. He's probably gonna e-speed me. Headlong Rush does come through out here, and wow, thank you, Aurora Bell. Thank you, Aurora Bell. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate you. Terror Blast can come out here, take out my Bomb Snow, correct? Oh no, you double down to me. Can I eat that? I do eat that. Beautiful. So I'm able to soak that up. Blizzard now flies here. Gets rid of you. Drain Punch is going to slide over. Not do that much damage, but we're hoping we get the KO here. We're hoping we get the KO because the KO would be huge and we get back a huge chunk of HP. The Drain Punch flying. Ooh. Ooh. So close. So close. Too close. That's a little bit too close. We do get back a nice chunk of HP though. Thank you, Aurora Bell. Thank the Lord we set up Aurora Bell. Because one headlong rush would have KO'd us, and then we were able to survive a Terra Blast and a headlong rush. That was big time for us. That was definitely big time for us. So we're going to see who he throws out here next. We still have the Roar Moon who we could Thrasslize and get some work done. But I'm trying to see. Who is your final Pokemon going to be? We already knew you had Gambit. But don't you have one more? Or did we KO already? You should have three Pokemon left, right? Yeah, they have three left. Um, no point of us Thrasslize. I'm just going to go for a nice, nice little blizzard there. And then I'm just going to go into this right here. I'm going to detect here. I think we need a bomb to drop out here. Yeah, that's fine. Because we need somebody to outspeed that, that Dragonite and KO. And that's going to be my boy. That is going to be my boy. Uh, what is, what's his name? Warm Moon. So he doesn't have Terra for, he doesn't have Terra for uh, King Gambit. So if I can land a Drain Punch here, that'd be big time. But I don't know if we can, because I think he just e-speeds me. And on top of that, he goes for a, a Sucker Punch and doubles down for first turn priority just to get rid of the, uh, just to get rid of the, the Iron Hands. But yeah, I still think, do I Terra here? I don't think we Terra just yet. I think we save it for a hot second. I think we save it for a hot second. I'm just going to go into this and then go into... Actually, no, you don't outspeed us, so we're fine. And then just go into a Drain Punch if we can. I'm thinking of Sword Dancing if he goes for Sucker Punch, but we'll see. So that comes out here. Is he also going to Sucker Punch? Yeah, there's the Double Down. And you soak. Oh my god, that just won us the game. That just won us the game. A War Bell winning us the game. So big. Acrobat's going to take out Dragonite. Drain Punch is going to completely wipe the floor with this King Gambit. And then on top of that, I get back a huge chunk of HP. Yo, Aurora Veil OP. So that was actually the play of the game was us setting up Aurora Veil. Because once we set up Aurora Veil, my Iron Hands is just too bulky to take out. And now it's back up to 111 HP. Come on now. It's too easy. We're absolutely ripping the rank ladder as of recently. I think I'm close to top 1,000. I think I'll show you guys after this. But yeah, we're definitely close to top 1,000. Torkoal is the final Pokemon. That is wild. Because I would have expected Torkoal to come out like 10 years ago, right? Would have expected that thing to come out 10 years ago. We're going to Acrobatics. We're going to uh, Drain Punch here. Actually, Wild Charge would be our play. More damage. And that's going to be GG's. I think our opponent just cancels battle. I probably should Terrasilize, but it's all good. Definitely should Terrasilize. But Wild Charge should be able to pick up the KO, no problem, right? Yeah, okay, awesome. Dope, dope, dope. See you later, Torkoal. I'm surprised he did not play that Torkoal a lot earlier in the match. Really throws me off, but it's all good. We take that dub. 2-0. Let's hop to our third. Look for a perfect record.
like i said ladies and gentlemen we're so close to top 1000 1231 we're 35 and 23 on the season had a few disconnects which counts towards the losses but dude we're killing it this season absolutely playing really really well we had a perfect record in the last video and we might get ourselves another perfect record in today's video but third and final match come at you guys this will put us in top 1000 we're going up against a scissor team with garchomp so i really wish i i really wish i had flutter main up against this squad like flutter main would be amazing it would be amazing but they also have the scissor the garchomp flutter main iron hands uh what's that pokemon talon flame and hydrocon so Really solid team all around. We have no really fairy support, but I could go into the flip turn combo. Could go into the flip turn combo. That's not too bad. But again, if they want to go into Town Flame here, I kind of want to go into Lunar Moon, right? Just to counter their Tailwind, it could be really good for us, but Flutter Main would just be that problem. Flutter Main is a problem, man. <laughs> it's such a problem. I could go straight into the Snow combo. Could also go into you. I, I feel like you're not too bad. Armour's Deli Bird, get that rolling. Try to get that cooking. I'm down to cook it up. I mean, what's called might come out here, which is a problem. Town Flame Hydreigon lead would be a problem. Would definitely be a problem, right? What's your terror type? It's gonna be grass, which isn't too bad. I'm still gonna try for it. If they do that, we'll just hard swap into NDD and maybe Terrasalize. But I do like that. And then last but not least, I'm kind of leaning towards. Just Roar Moon, right? Yeah, I mean, Roar Moon's not bad. Maybe I should have brought Iron Hands instead of Roar Moon, but we'll see. We'll see how this one plays out there. We'll see how this one plays out. But, yo, again, Aurora Vell in that last match was so clutch. It was insanely clutch. We were eating up, uh, what was that, Headlong Rushes, East Speed, Sucker Punches, Terra Blast, like, just soaking it up all day and, and then just Drain Punching to recover our HP. It was absolutely amazing. But he ends up going into Flutter Main and... Okay, um. Hmm. What is my player? What is my player? Because I could just do a sacrifice here. I could, honest to God, just do a sacrifice. I could honestly just do a sacrifice if I wanted to. Because I'm thinking of just expanding force and KO and you. Just so I could, what's it called? And taking out Fluttermain. And then losing my armors, right? Just sacrifice it? I think I'm with the sacrifice here. I'm with the sacrifice. I'm going to hope that Fluttermain doesn't, you know, do its thing. But he's going to end up Terrasalizing. He Terrasalizing. Please let it be the Hydreigon. It's going to be the Hydreigon into something other than Dark. Oh my lord. We might have... Might have just won this match. Why would you why would you I don't I don't understand why would you swap Hydreigon's typing it's dark up against armor rouge it is dark we go up plus two flutter main still might be able to outspeed which is a little scary but why would you do that <laughs> again this combo is so like off meta and like people don't expect it that they just, they just start doing random things like he, he thought I was gonna go into a freeze dry or like a blizzard or just some sort of ice move into his Hydreigon. So he's like, let me terrasalize here. But little does he know, we're still going into in the Armourouge. Little does he know this combo is still here. So we're hoping Armourouge can outspeed and just get to ripping, right? We're hoping he just outspeeds. Plus we pop the Psychic Seeds, like we just set up. We are just set up. Oh my lord. I love it. I love it. Yo, our opponent just turns off his console and that puts us in the top 1000. We better have gotten that win. Our opponent definitely turned off the console on that one. That is hilarious. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy all the videos today. Or all the battles, I should say. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Top 1,000 in the world. We are 941 ranked in the world. Absolutely amazing video for today. I cannot believe our opponent quit that last match. That was hilarious. But obviously, after like somebody quits or disconnects, the play still plays out. And what actually happened was we expanding force. Well, they actually imprisoned. So they imprisoned Trick Room with the Flutter Main. And we expanded force, which took out the Hydreigon and took out the Flutter Main at the same time. So the game was wraps regardless. Amazing combo. Puts us in the top 1,000, which I absolutely love. But let me give you guys one last look at this team. Absolutely love it. Like I said, that combo was actually OP. 
It really was OP because a lot of people expect Arm Rouge and Indeedee. A lot of people expect that. So going into the Iron Bundle and Arm Rouge really throws off your opponent and they have no idea what's coming. You flip turn into the Arm Rouge, get the Indeedee out for the Iron Bundle slot, and then it's pretty much GG's from there unless they are Dark type. But yeah, in, in, in the instances today, we did not go up against the Dark types. They terrestrialized the Hydreigon and just let us dump into it which is amazing but this team also has the roaring moon the iron hands and abamaso who all got the showcase today and do some work but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread positive today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody